Today I'm going to share with you three simple ways to promote something you are trying to promote. Um, they are simple, meaning that you probably have done these three before, but but we all need to be reminded <laughs> about some things that are that seem obvious, but we forget, and therefore it, we're not effective at our promotions. So, first way is through social media. Wherever you typically post updates on social media, even if you just post once a week, that's okay. For example, you might do that on Facebook, or on you might update your status on LinkedIn. You might tweet on Twitter. You might post your things on Google Plus. Wherever you post regularly, promote the thing there. And when I say promote, what? Uh, I, it could be an article you're trying to share with the world, a, a video. You're, maybe you're, maybe it's an event, a webinar, a workshop, or maybe it's simply your services. You're now open to accepting more clients. Okay, these are the types of things you could promote. Social media, like I said, is one of the options. And the key here is repetition. Okay. Oftentimes, people need to see something three to seven times before they make a decision about that thing that's being promoted. Okay, so sometimes you post something once on social media and you're wondering how come it's not getting the kind of traction. Well, why not post it three to seven times? Of course, you don't do it in a row, but every say five postings you make on social media promote that thing again. Okay, um, so. You know, let's say you you post on social media uh, once a day. Then every five days, you promote that thing again, and and do that three to seven times. So let's say you do it three times. That means in a 15-day period, if you post each day on social media, that means in a 15-day period, your audience will see that thing three times. Does that make sense? So social media is the first simple method to not forget that repetition is key. And the second simple method is to your email subscribers. Do not be shy. You're saying, oh, you know, some some people say to me, George, I haven't. Send anything to my email subscribers for a long time, and okay, that's that's for another video to warm up your subscriber list. Very simply, you can warm them up by saying um, that you're excited to share something that's coming up that's that uh, you think will be helpful for them, and then two days later, you can you can share a helpful article you've written lately, and then and then three or five days later, you can start your promotion sequence. And again, repetition is key. You send it to your email subscribers. Chances are they're gonna—it's gonna be one email out of, you know, hundreds they get in a single week, or or maybe more than hundreds. So send three times, okay? Um, and how often you do it, it's totally up to you, um, given the the timing of your launch. But you can certainly send three emails in a single week. Is not so unusual. I prefer to do three emails, maybe within a two-week period. is is totally fine. So remember your email subscribers and to and to contact them about it. The third way is through partners. Partners, promotional partners, are simply any friends or colleagues that you are you have a good relationship with, who have an audience that you believe are going to really appreciate the thing you're promoting, whether you're promoting an article, a webinar, or your services. But you truly, genuinely believe that their audience is is right for it, and that. The context of them with their audience, meaning the kind of message they share with your audience, is right to promote whatever you're promoting. Now, you know you can't be have a sense of entitlement about it. You need to approach them hu- with humility, but you do need to approach them at least twice. Just say two to three times maximum, and to 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 don't do it in a mass. Do it with direct, private messaging. So either directly private message them on Facebook is a good option, or directly email them. Or directly call them if you have their number, but ask them with humility whether they believe that this would be helpful for their audience, and if if so, you'd be so grateful, and that you'd be happy to help in any way that you can help. Okay, um, so that's three simple ways. I hope this is helpful.、Uh, always welcome your comments and questions. And until the next video, I wish you well.